New research on fossils from Bertel in Ethiopia confirms that the mysterious 3.4 million year old foot belonged to a previously unknown hominin species. This species lived alongside the famous Lucy and was more adapted to life in trees, with a prehensile big toe, as scientists have proven. This discovery changes existing views on the early stages of human evolution, suggesting that different species coexisted and exhibited distinct biological characteristics and feeding habits. Newly discovered fossils prove that the mysterious foot belongs to a little-known, recently named ancient relative of humans who lived alongside the famous Lucy species, according to scientists. This discovery may cast doubt on whether Lucy's species, Australopithecus afarensis, to which the famous fossil discovered in 1974 in the Afar region belongs, is a direct ancestor of Homo sapiens, as was believed until 2009, when the foot was discovered in Bertel in northeastern Ethiopia. A few years after its discovery, in 2015, a team of scientists named the new species Australopithecus diaremida. It was based on jaw bones dating back about 3.4 million years found in Bertel, although it could not be conclusively determined whether these bones belonged to a new species now, however, researchers believe that new fossils, including a jawbone with teeth, found at the site indicate that the foot did indeed belong to O. Diaremida. Research indicates that the new species was more primitive than its cousin Lucy. The prehensile big toe suggests that this relative of humans spent more time in trees. On the ground, it moved on two legs and probably pushed off with its second toe, rather than its big toe, like Lucy's species and modern humans. Fossils also prove that both species had different, albeit plant-based, diets. They did not have to fight for resources. Lucy's species had a more varied diet, wallow. Diaremida fed mainly on plants from trees and shrubs. However, it was still unclear how this species could have coexisted with Lucy's species in the same place and at the same time.